From the other side of the footlights, here is WHRO FM critic M.D. Rich. The resonant acoustic of Christ and St. Luke Church in Norfolk rang with the elegant singing of the Virginia Chorale December 14th. Their winter concert, Sing We Noel, featured the Christmas music of British composers from the 16th to the 21st centuries under the precise direction of conductor Charles Woodward. Without the text in hand, one would have been hard put to identify Giles Swain's Magnificat, a very different piece, commissioned by Christ Church College, Oxford, in 1982. The opening call of the work came from an African work song the composer recorded in southern Senegal and developed with unusual rhythms and leaps, taxing low notes and sparkling high ones. Videte Miraculum was a six-part motet by Thomas Tallis, taken from the Vespers of the Purification of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In its waves of music circling and rising like incense, tenor Scott Christman and baritone Joshua Grant were featured. The first of three songs using the symbol of the rose was Benjamin Britten's Hymn to the Virgin on an anonymous 14th century text. Written when the composer was 16, it was quite a mature work in which a solo quartet of soprano Celia Brockway, alto Julia Coberly, tenor Christopher Burnett, and baritone Rob Keenan sang Latin taglines in response to the main chorus's English text. There Is No Rose was by Richard Rodney Bennett from his Five Carols. The macaronic text was in English with the last line of each verse in Latin. The melody and his choral treatment were modern, but with an archaic feel. Paul Mailer is a Welsh composer whose A Spotless Rose rounded out the group with a fairly straightforward but deceptively simple approach. Its amen ending was low, deep, soft, lovely. Kevin Kwan, organist and director of music for Christ in St. Luke's, joined the chorale for St. Mare Motor Milde, Holy Mary Mother Mile, James Macmillan's composition on an anonymous 13th century text. It was translated by Joshua Grant, who spoke the original text before the chorale sang it. Each ornamented voice part vied with choral unison at a measured pace. In the last section, Gary Montgomery's tenor soared dramatically into the rafters before the song ended with women's voices repeating infantis ever more softly. American composer Stephen Paulus, who died in October, was commissioned by King's College, Cambridge, to write a new carol for their annual Festival of Nine Lessons and Carols. He chose a stunning text, Pilgrim Jesus, by English children's author and poet Kevin Crossley Holland, affirming the dance of God with angular, challenging musical language that requires sopranos who can float up to high A's and B's and hang there. The second half of the program was comprised of arrangements of traditional English carols. Andrew Potter's huge, rich bass intoned the Boar's Head Carol in the Wassail song, the last line repeated, segueing into the next verse. We wish you a Merry Christmas called for servings of figgy pudding, a treat I've never encountered, but the men began What Child Is This, which ended on a dissonant chord. The women started a little town of Bethlehem, a cappella, then splitting into parts. The men did the same in the second verse. Bob Chilcott's jazzy vocal arrangement of the less familiar Sussex carol featured Quan's bright, cheerful organ. The straightforward simplicity of Once in Royal David City, very unison two-part and SATV singing. The second verse had lovely alto ornaments. Trumpet fanfare on organ introduced O Come All Ye Faithful for a bravura finish. In honor of the bicentennial of the Star-Spangled Banner, each concert of the Chorale's 2014-2015 season will open with an arrangement of our national anthem. Francis Scott Key wrote the text, which was set on an 18th-century tune, the Anacreontic Song, by British composer John Stafford Smith. This attractive a cappella arrangement for this particular concert was written by British-born composer John S. Dixon, organ and composer in residence at Providence Presbyterian Church in Virginia Beach. From the other side of the footlights, I'm M.D. Ridge. (laughs) 